Hello YouTube and fellow DC Comic fans! I'm Kelly OneShot, and this is the Post-Crisis Podcast, and today, we're going to talk about Flash Forward number 2, from DC Comics, written by Scott Lodell, and artwork by Brett Booth. Okay, so this is the second issue in the Wally West Redemption Arc storyline. I believe it's a 6 or 12 parter series, and this is number 2. In the first issue, we ultimately seen Wally West talking about everybody who he accidentally killed during his breakdown at Sanctuary and how he ultimately went to jail and he was atoning for his sins and paying his penance, though he felt like he didn't deserve it. He felt like he wasn't a hero, that he was never going to get better. And then suddenly, this intergalactic cosmic god named Tempest actually pulled Wally West into his world and he's actually from the Sideways series, which is a newer character from the New Age of Heroes, right at the end of DC Metal, and this god had to do with, like, policing the dark multiverse and kind of trying to help destroy the dark matter and watch its spread throughout the universe. And he mentions how the dark matter was spreading to different worlds and corrupting them. So he gives Wally this wand, and he doesn't really give him too much information, but he says that he must seek out his fate, and he throws him through a portal pretty much, Wally goes through and he goes to the Earth where Calvin Ellis is President Superman and he's actually being attacked and he's beat up. And that's where we start this issue, at the White House in Washington, D.C. It's not our White House because there's a multiverse, like I just said. And then it's here that Wally and President Superman are having a conversation and President Superman says that he's fine but he needs to protect Wally so Wally needs to get out of here. They ask from what and it's here that we see these dark matter creatures they're attacking president superman wally does his classic i'm wally west and the fastest man alive at least in my own reality but it turns out they're separate realities and different multiverses which is weird because he already knows about the multiverse but i digress so wally grabs president superman and he's helping to fight the monster and then it's here that he actually pulls out the wand that he got from tempest and he attacks the monster who's made of dark matter and this wand kind of shoots out light energy apparently light matter they don't actually call it light matter but that's essentially what's going on here and wally is able to destroy the dark matter with this wand so he learns very quickly that that's what they need to do to defeat this dark matter then here all of a sudden calvin ellis's justice league of america shows up and they think that they're here to stop wally west because calvin ellis sent out a um signal for help because of the dark matter creatures that were attacking him and it's here that his justice league showed up and it's like i said the justice league of america they have different members they have um steels there you got batman there you have an african-american wonder woman and you also have vixen there as well as well as several other members who aren't necessarily in this panel and they actually ask um wally to stand down and to get away from their team member but they don't and they try to attack wally and it's here that the president lets them know like oh man he's not against us right now but either way wally west grabs the president and they run out of here and that's it's there where they kind of catch up on the situation and uh superman kind of tells him he was sitting on his plane and then all of a sudden he was ambushed by these monsters and then he sought out the threat which is in the base of the grand canyon he saw that these monsters had incredibly corrosive powers at thick dark energy that he could struggle to explain and he said that the monsters attacked him and he thought that he felt he could tell that they were from the death of worlds like their energy was like the death of the worlds and so when he felt like instead of treating the symptoms he had to regroup back up and try to fight the disease ultimately and come back and defeat its source he, he then goes to his oval office of solitude where he learns where the dark energy comes from and it comes from an alternate universe and he feared that those demon creatures are simply a byproduct of that of uh, the real problem here so he ran a few simulations and he found out that our earth, the earth that they're on will ultimately be enveloped by this darkness within an hour so they need to stop the earth at the source of the grand canyon but that congress also authorized the launch of the anti-life bomb it is a bomb that would kill all the dark matter but the residual blast wave will also kill several people with billions of people even within the blast radius near the um grand canyon it's here that wally west then suddenly just uses his wand and he points it at president superman and it shoots out an energy and then the justice league of america actually start attacking wally but wally just runs away here and he kind of goes through how no more people will die not if he can stop it that he sees the faces of the people that he killed on accident and he 
is not going to um, just keep suffering. He's not going to let people suffer. He's going to fight back. And he it says that he wishes Tempest was here to explain more things that he sent him out on this mission. And then it's actually here that Tempest kind of just shows up, like whether he's there in the physical world, whether they can see him or if he's just a byproduct within Wally's mind here. But he talks to Wally and he says, you know, I mean, of course he's been watching. And he says that he needs to find the tear between worlds to seal it with the staff. But he says that you're too late, that either the dark matter will eat this world or millions of people will die because of the bomb. And then you need to move on from this world. It's a lost cause. And while he's like, yo, cram it. He keeps running away and then he goes to the Grand Canyon. But then suddenly, within the Grand Canyon here, from a different world, because this is a tear between two worlds with the dark universe here, we actually see the Retaliators, which is a group of people from a different world, I believe World 8, which is... DC's placeholder for the Marvel Universe. So we actually see the Avengers or Retaliators. We see a Captain America a Crusader type character. We see a Spider-Man, an Iron Man. We see X-Men. Clearly Jean Grey, Cyclops, Colossus, uh, Nightcrawler, Storm, Rogue. We see a Wolverine looking character all in green here. You got the Avengers on the left and you got the X-Men on the right and it's pretty cool. So they all think that Wally might be this enemy because they track the source energy from the tear in their universe here to this as the source of that. So they think because Wally's here that that's that. So they kind of fight, but then the Jean Grey looking character reads Wally's mind and she says that he can she can sense that Wally's on their side and yet they still continue to fight and they realize that the staff has some kind of significance here and that maybe they can save their planet with the staff. So they attack Wally. Eventually they shoot lightning at him. And it's kind of cool here because Wally reveals that something that we knew about Wally West in general is that he actually has the power to take in the lightning that is being shot at him and send it back to them 10 times harder. That that's a power that Wally West has as, as the Flash. That was something within the Wally West run as the Flash. So it's pretty cool. He battles Cyclops, Rogue, Jean Grey. I'm just going to call him that. Beast, you know, the whole X-Men there. And then eventually he just runs to his goal and he attacks with the staff, the source of the tear of the dark energy. And instantly here, these fake X-Men and Avengers ultimately say that they got a message from their planet, from their world, saying that the dark matter is leaving and the world is healing. That whatever Wally did, it's clearly helping, so they want to thank him. But he says, yo, the, the portal's closing, so this is your chance. Go. Peace. See you later. Then it's here where he realizes, yo, man, the bomb is still going to come in six seconds, and it's going to still hit here. It's going to hit nothing, so it's just going to kill millions of people, even Wally in the uh, residual blast. But then it's here that in all of the panic, which doesn't exist, we see Calvin Ellis actually grabs the bomb, and he says, thanks for hitting me with the staff, and it purged the dark matter from my body just like you thought it would. And then the Justice uh, League of America comes and they thank Wally. They want to know his name for everything that he's done and they say that he's a symbol of hope. He says he doesn't see himself as a symbol of hope and he really wishes that people would stop saying that to him. And he's glad everything's okay. And then he actually just kind of runs away and goes through the dimensional portals that he's creating. And the Wonder Woman here says that he is one heavily burdened young man and that hopefully he finds the peace and what he's looking for at the end of this journey. Wally then is kind of running through the different multiversal um, speed force essentially um, and he's saying to himself that at least he knows what he's doing. At least he knows what his purpose is right now and that's to run through these different worlds and save him from the dark energy and how he's going to go about doing them. We then actually see Tempest and he's kind of like looking over the situations and he says that he wants to bring Wally here to show him his true destiny but he doesn't feel like Wally's ready and that he has more trials that he's going to have to face and more worlds on the brink of disaster. So that was one of, that was a test, ultimately, and he hopes that Wally's will and his psyche will be healed in time to face a bigger threat. It's here that we, we, end, we end up going to the Incursion Point Zero, the Dark Multiverse, Event Horizon, the dark world that will not die. This is the part of the problem here uh, that Tempest wants to stop, is this dark world that won't die that the dark matter is spreading from, so this is a chaos zone. This is a world in crisis. We see actually in statues, or graves rather, who is to say? Statues of all the people that Wally killed at Sanctuary. From Roy to Nark to Lagoon Boy to Captain Steel, or Commander Steel rather, the Blue Hawk. And even a statue in the background of Wally up in the top. 
and then it's here that we see two figures, two people talking back and forth, saying that these things weren't here yesterday. What are they? Are they new? Are they new statues? So this world is where like the darkness is being created, where new things in the timeline is being affected somehow. And they say that these stones weren't here yesterday. And then we actually see that it is Irie and Jay, the children of Wally West. Whether that's the children from Wally, where he's from, from the timeline, pre the manipulation from the Flashpoint, and from all that other meddling that Dr. Manhattan or whoever might have done to the timeline that took Wally West's kids from him, that stopped the relationship between him and the park, that altered events so that thing didn't happen. We see the hyper time version or whatever of Jay and Irie, and they're out here in this world. And Jay actually says that he's scared and that he asks his sister, Does she remember? when dad made the same promise that everything would be okay and then we actually see that's the end of the issue here it's a lot better than the first issue i liked it it gives it more purpose this twist right here at the end is one of the biggest things that makes me see like oh wow maybe something cool can come from the end of this because i didn't honestly see jay and irie coming in for a long time or that his issue with his family or anything like that was really going to be addressed when he's out on this cosmic space journey but it turns out his kids are on the dark multiverse world that won't die so that's pretty cool we'll see what happens it's fun to see like the fake X-Men there from Earth 8 or whatever. Um, and to see the Justice uh, League of America and Calvin Ellis and all that cool stuff. like it. It's a little bit better, like I said. Um, artwork was pretty good by Brett Booth uh, and Scott Lodell. Though the art, the writing itself wasn't always perfect. The story and the concept got the job done for me. I'm your host, Kelly OneShot. You can check this video out, as always, on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash OneShot Theory. You can check me out on Twitter at Kelly OneShot. You can check these videos out, my contributions, other contributions or podcasts from other contributors to comicbooklegion.com. I'm your host, Kelly OneShot. You take care, have a great day, and goodbye.